Hi, Jason Moser here with you, analyst with Motley Fool One. Thanks again for joining us for another edition of Ask a Fool. Uh, today we're taking a question from Bobby Metzger who asks, how do different markets around the world correlate to each other and how well do futures contracts predict the open? Uh, good questions, Bobby. Uh, definitely, I think the markets correlate more today than probably ever before. There are extensive papers written on the subject. Uh, but thanks to technology and the internet, uh, the world has gotten smaller, meaning we are more connected and globalization is really taking hold. Uh, emerging markets have contributed significantly uh, to this over the past 20 years. And particularly, we're looking at Asian economies and Latin American economies, markets uh, that have really contributed to this. The BRIC economies, I think, uh, if you hear that from time to time, BRIC refers to Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And the BRIC economies continue to grow and develop, incorporating more traits of, of U.S. and European markets every year. Um, they're, they're representing everything from uh, consumer goods to energy and even finance. Uh, but let's take a look at an example of a company here in the U.S. It's called Lincoln Electric. Now, Lincoln is a leading provider of arc welding and cutting products. And their major end user markets include structural steel construction, think buildings and bridges, the automotive industry and offshore oil and gas exploration and extraction, just to name a few. Now, in 2002, approximately two-thirds of Lincoln's business came from its North American market, with the other third coming from its international market. Today, that split is closer to 50-50, and actually about 15% of that international market is, is thanks to uh, business coming from those brick economies, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, uh, and, then, and then remaining international markets as well. So you can see over time how this correlation has grown and, and companies are becoming more global every year. In regard to the futures contracts question, generally speaking, it is a very good indicator of how the market will open. Uh, it just gives us a take on sentiment early in the day, uh, but it's not necessarily indicative of how the market will perform throughout the whole day. So be very careful. Uh, you know, headlines can change things at the drop of a hat if, as, as we continue to see. So it's just worth remembering it's, it's a good indicator of how the markets will open, but not how they will perform for the rest of the day. But thanks for the questions. I appreciate them. And for more information, make sure to check out fool.com.